Alibaba and the Forty Thieves. Contents: Chapter One, A Secret Cave. Chapter Two, The Thieves Return. Chapter Three, X Marks the Spot. Chapter Four, The Oil, The Oil Cellar. Chapter Five, Revenge. Chapter One, A Secret Cave. Long ago in Persia, there lived two brothers. Kazim was a rich mer merch merchant, 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 but Ali Baba was only a poor woodcutter. While Kazim ran a large store in town, Ali Baba spent his time collecting firewood. His time. He would gather twigs and branches to sell at the market. It's a hard life. One day, Ali Baba spotted a band of horsemen galloping into into the woods. They had daggers and looked like dangerous. Quickly, he hid in a tree. The men stopped at a cliff near Ali Baba's tree. Open sesame! cried their leader, and a hole, and a hole appeared in the rock. Silently they went in. That's amazing! thought Ali Baba. He wanted to explore, but he was scared of the men. After a long wait, he saw the rock open again. He counted the men as they hurried out. They were. Forty of them. Shut sesame," said their leader. Later, the rock closed and the men rode away. Follow me, men. Ali Baba slid down from his tree. He tried the magic words. Open sesame. So instantly, the rock opened. Ali Baba crept inside and gasped. The cave was crammed with treasure. Those men must be thieves," he thought. "They won't miss a few coins," said. And he filled four bags with gold. He returned to gold, but the rock had closed behind them, behind him. Help! Open sesame! He cried. The rock slid open, and he darted out. Shut sesame," he added, before racing home. Ali Baba's wife, stunned to see his bag full of gold and studded of wood, "I must be dreaming," he said. Then Ali Baba told her the whole story. "We should hide the gold," she said. "But first, let's find out." How rich, rich we are! She ran to Kazim's house and asked to borrow his wife's scales. Kazim's wife wondered why. Secretly, he smeared some wax on the scales before before handing them handing them over. Thank you. When the scales come back, Kazim's wife had. Found a gold coin stuck to the wax. She sh she showed it to Kaz to Kazem. Your brother isn't a poor man after all. She cried. He weighs his gold. The next day, Kazem took the coin to Ali Baba. Tell me where this came from, he ordered. Ali Baba couldn't lie to his brother, so he told him about the cave. Chapter Two: The Thieves Return. Golda thought Kazim. He he feared ten donkeys and took them to the place Ali Baba had dis described. Open sesame! He cried. The rock opened and Kazim stepped into the cave. He was dazzled by all the treasure. I want everything. 
He stuffed his bag full, then turned to leave. But he'd forgotten the magic words. Open, strawberry! He cried. Nothing happened. Cousin was trapped. Worse still, he could hear voices outside. He wanted to hide, but he was frozen with fear. Suddenly, the rock opened. Get him, men! Shouted the leader of the thief. He knows our secret. Chop him off and leave his body to scare other people away. That night, Kazim didn't come home for supper. His wife was worried. She went to Ali Baba's house in tears. I think Kazim is in trouble. She wailed. Please find him. I hope he hasn't gone to the cave. Morning came, and there was still no sign of Kazim. Ali Baba went to look in the cave. Open sesame! He called. The rocks leaned back to re, 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 reveal a horrible sight. Kazim's body lay in four pieces. Ali Baba quickly put them in a bag and hurried home. I can't bur. I can't bury my brother in pieces. He thought. He went to ask ask Kazim, loyal. Royal, loyal servant, Mold, Mordemona, Mold, Moldemona, for help. I know just the man for the job. Mold, 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 Morgiana, Morgiana went straight to Mustafa the trailer. I need you to saw some up something in secret," she said. "I'll pay you well, but you must let me by by blindfold you." Mustafa agreed. He needed the money. Mor Morgiana led him to Ali Baba's house and made him sew up Kazim's body. Soon, Ali Baba was able to bury his brother in one piece. He pretended that Kasim had died of an illness. Illness. Would you like to work for me now? Yes, please. Chapter three. X marks the spot. Meanwhile, the thieves had more more stolen goods to hide. Jim. Jim. Come. Jamel, the Jamel, the body's gone," cried a thief to their little leader. "Someone else must know about a cave," Jamel replied. "We must kill him too. Let me go to let me go to town and track down our enemy," suggested one of the thieves. "Okay, but." Be careful. The thief, the thief was in a in town before sunrise. Only Mustafa, the trailer, was already at work. How how can you how can you saw saw in the dark? Sue saw in the dark. Asked the thief. It's easy, replied the trailer. The other day I saw the. Sawed up a body while blindfolded. A body! cried the thief. I'll give you a gold coin if you show me where did you, where did you dig that? But Mustafa didn't remember the why. So the thief put a blindfold on him. Now can you find the house? He asked. I think it's. This door, I will, I will mark it with chalk. An hour later, Mor, 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 
Mojiana arrived at Ali Baba's house from the market. What's this cross for? She wondered. I think something fishy is going on. She drew, she drew crosses on the doors of nine other houses, so Ali Baba didn't stand out. <coughs> hmm. Back at the cave, the thief was telling his friends about Mustafa and the house. I can show you where, where our enemy lives. He said. He took Jamel Jamel to Ali Baba's street. Only to find ten doors mar marked instead of one. Hmm, it's one of these. You fool! Jamel returned to the cave, very annoyed. Right, he said. I'll give a stack of jewels to the man who can find our enemy. I'll do it. So the. So and so, a different thief set off to ask Mustafa's help. Do I have to do this again? I'll give you two gold coins. When they reached the door, the thief had an idea. I'll mark it in. I'll mark it in red chalk. He thought, but here's a red truck, and here's another. After he'd left, more more Jana noticed a new cross. She quickly drew nine more in red this time. The second thief led Jamel to Ali Baba Street. There were so many crosses; he didn't know where where to start. Must I do any everything myself? Cried Jamel. Chapter Four: The Oil Cellar. Before long, Jamel had hatched a plan. First, he ordered his men to buy thirty-eight big oil jars and nineteen donkeys. He filled one jar with oil and left the rest empty. I want some. Thirty-seven of you to hide in the jars," he told his men. "You two fools! You two fools! Better find another boss." Then he dis, and dis, and he disguised himself as an oil seller and led the donkeys into town. Each donkey carried two jars. Jamel want, went to see Mustafa. Show me where you sawed up that body," he said, giving Mustafa three gold coins. Here we are. Thanks. You can go now. At Ali Baba's door, Jamel knocked loudly. "Can I help?" Ali ba said. Ali Baba. I hope so," replied Jamel. "I I'm an honest oil seller with nowhere to stay. Well, come in and make yourself at home." And Ali said, "Ali Baba, you can leave your donkeys in the yard." While Jamel unloaded his jars, he spoke to the thieves. Keep hidden until I throw a pebble from my window," he whispered. "Then you know it's time to attack." Morgiana guessed Ali Baba was in big trouble. She took the oil into the kitchen, heated it in a huge pot, and then carried it out to the yard. Carefully, she tipped. Sizzling oil into all thirty-seven jars, one by one, the thieves sputtered, spluttered, and died. That night, Jamel looked out of his window. All clear, he thought, and threw a pebble at one of the jars. Twenty pebbles later, the, there was still no sign of his men. They must be asleep. He thought and crept outside to wake them. 
to his to his horror, he found all his men dead. He panicked and and fell, fled, and fled. In the morning, Morgiana showed Ali Baba the dead man and told him about the oil seller's escape. They are thieves! I saw at cave. He cried, "With we better, we better bury them here." Chapter Five: Revenge. Now, by now, Jamal and Jamal was very angry. He thought of nothing but. Killing Ali Baba. While he was plotting, he decided to sell some of the treasure. He dressed up as a businessman and set up a market stall. By chance, Ali Baba's nephew ran a stall nearby. Hello, my name's um Camel. Nice to meet you, Mister Camel. The two men got along well. I've made a new friend. The nephew told Ali Baba. A week later, Ali Baba's wife had held a dinner party for their nephew and his friend. Jamal found himself face to face with his enemy. All went well until Ali Baba offered him salt. Have some salt? No, no, no. Anything but salt. In per in Persia. It was very unlucky to harm someone if you had eaten their salt. Morgiana heard their guest refused refused the salt. That's strange, she thought, and studied him more closely. It's the man who pretended to be an oil seller, she gasped. I must protect Ali Baba. Quickly, she changed into dancing clothes, with a tambourine in her hand and a dagger at her side. She swayed and twirled, twirled in front of the party. She's wonderful. Her dance was greeted with claps and cheers. Again, bravo! Then Morgiana went from went from one person to the next, holding out her tambourine for money. Ali Baba gave her a coin, and so did his nephew. Jamal fumbled for his purse. This is my chance, thought Morgiana. As Jamal looked down, she took her dagger and stabbed him. Oh my God! The author jumped up. Why have you? What have you done? Cried Ali Baba. I've saved your life, Morgiana replied. He's dead. I'm confused. Look carefully at your guest. She went on. He's really a fake, the fake oil seller. He's also the leader of the thieves. Cried Ali Baba, "I must have been after me, ever, ever since I found his cave." Quickly, they buried Jamal's body with the other thieves. Morgiana, how can I ever repay you? Ali Baba asked. Maybe she could marry me," suggested his nephew. "I'd love to. Great idea." Said Ali Baba, "Well, we'll have the wedding of the year, and the and there's a cave full of treasure to pay for it." Who who first told this story? Ali Baba and the Forty Thieves comes from a collection of Arabian stories known as the Thousand and One Nights. According to to legend, a sultan wanted to kill his wife. To save herself, the wife started telling him a wonderful story. The sultan found the story story so good, he let her wife to finish it. Then she started another one, hundreds of stories, and one hundred and one nights later, the sultan let his wife go. 
バイバイ。